India's 250 billion dollar IT industry, the crown jewel of white collar India, is going through its toughest moment in decades. The headlines say that AI is the future. The numbers, they tell a different story. So let's ask the important question. Is Indian IT collapsing under AI or quietly rewriting its future? Let's break it down for you. Let's talk about the cracks happening in the foundation itself. Starting off with the latest Q4 results. When it comes to emphasis, net profit went down by 11.7% and growth guidance slashed to 0 to 3%. In TCS, profits dropped by 2%, slowest revenue growth in 4 years. When it comes to Wipro, annual revenue declined for the first time in years. HCL Tech became the best performer, but still cautious with just 2 to 5% growth outlook. Everyone is betting big on AI, but no one is growing fast. AI is here, but it's not a magic wand. Infosys deployed 200 plus AI agents live. TCS deployed 150 plus Gen AI solutions. HCL Tech, 500 Gen AI engagements across 400 clients. As for Wipro, AI in every new deal, and yet no double digit growth. Why you ask? Because clients aren't expanding, they are optimizing. AI is not boosting budgets, it's replacing tasks. Former Tech Mahindra CEO CP Gurnani calls this moment a pause, not a collapse. He blames corporate lag in AI adoption, tariff shocks from the US, AI-driven productivity leading to fewer hires. He believes that Indian IT will bounce back. But here's the reality. Even if it does bounce back, it won't be the same when it does. Because the innovation gap is real. India has just 0.37% of global AI patents. China. 70%, US 14%. In private AI investments, India received $11 billion in a decade, US $471 billion and China $119 billion and it showed us, even with less budget, what it can do. So despite top AI talent, India isn't leading the innovation yet. We are building the engine parts for sure, but not designing the car yet. And that's why GCCs are winning the race. While legacy IT giants chase service contracts, GCCs, that are global capability centers, are doing what Indian IT has not been able to do yet. They are building LLMs in India. They are partnering with Indian AI startups. They are investing in moonshot innovation. Toast, that is a $1.5 billion ARR company, is doing its entire R&D from India. The likes of Walmart, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Databricks, all growing product teams here. They're not just solving problems, they're inventing solutions. Let's talk a little about the talent bottleneck. India has over 70,000 AI professionals, but here's the paradox. Freshers are still waiting to get onboarded. Campuses are quiet. Most big firms are not hiring at scale. Experts said that coders will not be enough. We now need prompt engineers, obviously. AI architects, uh, use case builders. And India doesn't lack people, but it lacks deployment. So can the old guard evolve? There's some signs of change, surely. HCL Tech built four AI platforms and 12 exclusive Gen AI deals last quarter. Infosys is scaling 400 AI projects, building small language models as well. And TCS migrating 50 million lines of legacy code to AI-optimized Java. When it comes to Wipro, AI coers in 50 campuses, $1.8 billion in large AI-powered deals. Even tier 2 towns like, say, Mysuru, Vadodara, Bhuvaneshwar are becoming innovation hubs. But it's still early. What really broke? What caused this? Indian IT's old model is fading. More revenue is equal to more people, is equal to more billing. Not sustainable in the AI age. Services over products. That doesn't scale in a Gen AI world. Hiring thousands of freshers? Not viable when AI does the work of 10. So what is needed now? Platforms, not just projects. Products are needed and not just pitches. Value creation and not just cost cutting. So to talk about the path forward, India can lead the AI age, but not by copying the past. We need a national AI stack like UPI for machine intelligence. Open source LLMs trained on Indian languages. Incentives for deep tech startups, not just service firms. More compute infra, say GPUs, say chips and affordable AI labs. It's time for Indian IT to ask, are we building the tools of the future or waiting to be replaced by them? Indian IT is not dead, but the old way of doing IT is. 
we are at an inflection point. The firms that reinvent will thrive. And the ones that wait will fade. From services to AI, from billable hours to billion dollar IPs, from Mysuru to Mountain Dew. This is India's real reset. The question is, will the IT biggies be able to lead or will we lag? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. For more such insightful, in-depth stories just like this, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.